Hello guys and welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to show you about the reference tab and we will be working with index. How to create index, how to insert indexes, how to create sub index and so on. And just to recall in the previous lesson I showed you that how you can create and insert hyperlinks inside your word document. So moving on with index in one of our next lessons as well we will also be working with the reference tab right over here in which I will teach you about the table of contents and so on. But in this lesson we will focus on the index section in our reference tab. How you can create index, how you can mark entries in your index and so on. So let's begin without any further ado and you can mark entries, you have to first mark entries on your word document before inserting the index. So for example I have this electronic discovery right over here and I need to mark entry for this word so I can easily click mark entry on my reference tab and it will open up a dialog box for this electronic main entry and I can then give a sub entry for example e-discovery great now once I've given a sub entry I can also work with the options over here you want a you want a cross reference you want a current you want the current page only or you want a page range but for page range you need to again cr create bookmarks for this and in in the previous lesson we created some bookmarks and they are being shown over here so if you want page range you need to create more bookmarks for your entry so let's go with current page for now and you can also work with the page number format whether you want it bold and italic or you don't want them so over here it says this dialog, bo dialog box stays open so that you can mark all multiple index entries so once I've written a sub entry choose the options and the page number format I can click mark all and once it marks all you can see that wherever the word electronic comes it creates a sub entry and this xe is for an index so it i have an index of the main entry of electronic and the sub entry of index of e discovery so let's close this and you can see that wherever there is the word electronic present in my document it has a sub entry of e discovery so great now once you've done this let's first of all add another or let's mark another entry on our on our word document so for example we choose let's say email threading over here so let's choose email threading mark entry and give it a name a sub entry of let's say mailing choose the options choose the page number format and click mark all let's close this and you can see that I have my email threading the index and the sub entry is mailing and I have the electronic over here the sub entry is e-discovery now once you've done this you can you have to go to the end of your page and the shortcut way to go to the end of your page is control end and it will take you to the end of the page. Now you need to move to the next line and then you need to go to insert index. And once you insert index, it opens up your index dialog box. It gives you a print preview at first. It gives you the type you want it indented or run in. Let's go with indented and you can see the preview over here. How will your index look? Then you can give your columns, you can choose auto, one, two, three, four, and so on. So let's go with four for now. Your language English, you can write align page numbers. So let's select this option over here. How do you want the lines to be shown or displayed? So you want this format or you want this format and so on. So let's go with this format over here. You can choose the format of your index, you want it from template. You want it classic, you want it a fancy one, modern one, or a bulleted one. 
and you have more entries as well for example formal and simple so let's go with formal over here and then click OK and you notice that it moves us to the next page and it creates an ending index that the e-discovery is on page 1 and mailing as a sub entry is on page 2 similarly we have all the index over here so let's go to home and remove the paragraph tags over here and great now you have your index over here and you have your mar sub entries marked as well so this is how you can easily create indexes on your word document and it's a pretty straightforward process you just need to see this once learn this once and then you can create as many indexes as you want on your word document so i hope you learned stay tuned stay focused in the next lesson we will be working with table of contents so without any further ado let's move to our next lesson